As William Faulkner dazzled the world with novels focusing on Southern life, Clore painted Southern visions with master strokes. Many Clore paintings were called childhood memories of life growing up in Crittenden County. Clore shared one of his final works and the story behind it with me 70 days ago. Entitled Chickens, Clore's final work recalled memories of a beloved childhood pet. I named him One Wing, and we got to be real buddies. And he would eat out of my hand and perch on my shoulder. But when his pet accidentally became the main course for dinner one night, Clore says he crawled under his country house and cried for an hour, swearing he'd never love anything that much again. Eventually I recovered, and I loved three women and, and three cats during my lifetime. The two women left, and the three cats died. But the third woman... It's been here 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> the third woman, the artist's wife, Pat, represented her ailing husband at the Clinton inauguration. Clore's 1966 painting, Lewis Schoolhouse Faculty and Honor Students, was chosen as an inaugural commemorative poster. The painting itself now hangs on loan in the vice president's White House office. Clore included himself in this one, the last boy sitting on the right, about age six, an artist in bloom. I can't remember when I was not sketch. It's always been so. Yeah. And what were you drawing there? I would draw people. Always people. Only two of Clore's 850 paintings lack a human form. The artist featured his family in many. Describing himself as a modern realist, the painter often went people hunting in Holly Springs and Mark Tree, photographing and sketching faces of the Mid-South. I counted up one time, there are 74 Mark Tree people in my paintings, and none of them know it. They have been immortalized. <laughs> immortalized and don't know it. <laughs> some days, some of them go to find one in a museum and say, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Clore left his mark at Earl High School, winning best drawing in an East Arkansas high school contest led Clore to the James Lee Art Academy, forerunner of the Memphis Academy of Arts. Later, Clore earned an English degree at Southwestern, now Rhodes College, and became torn between writing and his art. He considered becoming a cartoonist, traveling to Europe, then ending up studying in Memphis and at New York's Art Students League. There, Clore created a series of lithographs featuring East Arkansas home country and his family, and this, entitled Group of Myself. This work won the young artist a McDowell Traveling Fellowship and a tour of the American West. Clore spent 1941 practicing painting in Mexico. It's where, the artist says, he learned the subtleties of color. World War II led Clore to the Army Air Corps, stationed in Saipan, his brush left pinup girls on bombers. After the war, Clore returned to Mexico, Central and South America, and then New York, where Life magazine took notice of his burgeoning talent. Later, traveling in Europe, Clore began recalling images of his childhood, stories his mother told of panthers, and his childhood pal, Charlie May, the little black girl whose baptism in the Tyranza River Clore attended and immortalized in this painting. Clore had found his way home. In the mid-1950s, the painter returned to Memphis and renovated this house himself. In this studio, wallpapered with favorite news clippings, masterpieces burst forth. In what turned out to be his final interview, the artist expressed hope people would identify with his work and take pleasure viewing it. The overall impression that I get when I look at your paintings is that there's something genuine there. Mm -hmm. the, there's some sort of truth yeah. that is just on that canvas that uh, is compelling yeah. for whatever reason. It's, mm -hmm. it's something genuine in it. And it's well, I, I, time, time. I like that, yeah. The paintings are enchanting, at once regional and universal. Guy Northrup, the late art critic, summarized Clore's work as one man's search for identity. For generations to come, the Mid-South and the world will share the master's exploration.